Hello, and welcome to Clever Weekly Announcements on CTV. There's an attendance challenge going on between now until October 27th. The two first hours of the highest attendance will be awarded special donuts on October 31st. The Rogue One attendance challenge will be going on until December 15th. If you have a 95 to 99% attendance, you'll only have to pay $5 to go. If it's 100% attendance, congratulations, you now get to go for free. If you are the class of the highest attendance, you get to actually go see Star Wars The Force Awakens prior. And out to Corey. Thanks, Matthew. The band took second in their class on Saturday, October 15th at the Carthage Maple Leaf Parade. This season, the band accumulated many awards, including th three first place awards, two Outstanding Color Guard awards, one Outstanding Marching award, one Second Place award, and one Outstanding Band of the Day. They will now be transitioning into concert band. If any band students would like to come practice and or take their chair placement test during advisory, they are welcome to do so. And now to Kaylee. The cross country teams had a fantastic finish in the Southwest Invitational. Matt Christopher led the varsity boys, finishing with a first place overall and a time of 16.39. The time, that time is only 17 seconds behind Garrett Shadwick's all-time school record. Five of the boys PR'd. Mark Christopher with a time of 17.44, Derek Sopic with a time of 18.14, Austin Garrett with a time of 18.16, Jace Grizzle with a time of 1902, and Stephen Koontz with a time of 1924. The boys came in second place overall. The girls were led by Brooke Haft, who finished second with a time of 2109. She shaved one minute and 13 seconds off her previous best and is now the school's second fastest girl ever behind Kelly McNabb. Three girls PR'd. Grace Gundelfinger with a time of 22.18, Ashley Pierce with a time of 22.31, and Maddie Wilson with a time of 22.37. The girls came in first overall. This was their third first place win this season. Great job to all the cross country teams. And now to Kara with volleyball. The girls volleyball team played in the sectionals tournament on Saturday, October 22nd. They made it to sectionals after defeating Marionville to win districts. They beat Sarcoxy in their first game on Saturday. However, their season ended after a loss to the Liberty Eagles. The girls ended their season with a 23-9-3 record. Congrats on a great season. And now to Hannah. Thank you, Kara. Your books are now on sale. If you buy one before November 25th, then you can buy it for $45. An extra $5, you can personalize your cover and get your name and four free icons. You can order your yearbook at JostensYearbooks.com. You can make a check out to Clever Schools and turn it in to Mr. Boyles. Now to Alicia. Thanks, Hannah. Any A-plus students grades 9 through 11 need to check your school email. An A-plus attendance update was sent to your email. See Dr. Moyer if you have any questions. And now, junior class dues should be turned in by December 1st. See Mr. Lawson or Ms. Latham if you have any questions. And now to Corey. Thank you, Alicia. Science History Club is having a Halloween party on October 28th from 6 to 10 p.m. If you are a member of Science History Club, please stop by Ms. Grants and sign up to bring snacks or drinks to the party. And now to Hannah. Thanks, Corey. FBLA will be selling Army Men October 31st through November 4th to honor veterans. Army Men will be displayed throughout the building and then returned to the students after Veterans Day. All money will be raised towards purchasing items for care packages for our troops. All students will have a chance to honor someone by writing a note and putting it on a parachute next to the Army Men. Order forms will be available in advisory starting Friday, October 28th and can be returned to Mrs. Burning or an FBLA officer during the week of October 31st during lunch. And now to Kara. Thank you, Hannah. There will be several colleges visiting in the upcoming weeks. OTC on Monday, October 31st at 3 p.m. Truman State on Monday, November 7th at 3 p.m. C of O on Wednesday, November 9th at 3 p.m and MSU on Monday, November 14th at 3 p.m. All juniors will take the ASVAB test on November 17th. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching.